You want to let clients pick a date and a time on your calendar so that you can reduce the unnecessary back and forth that you have. You can avoid double booking a date and a time on your calendar and so that you can set boundaries and limitations with when you're available. A scheduler is a way for clients to do that, to pick a date and a time on your calendar. It is a set of availability settings and other configurations that also checks your Google Calendar for availability. And you can create as many schedulers as you'd like and reuse them over and over and over again. Schedulers can be sent to a client one by one. They can be shared and visited in a public link. They can be added to booking proposals for one-off bookings, or they can be added to a booking page for public bookings. Let's go ahead and set up a scheduler in Sprout now. In Sprout, click the overview page and then click schedulers. Click the add new button up here. And the first thing we're gonna do is give it a name. In the first section here, we have availability. This is where you specify to the scheduler what your availability would be like in an ideal world here. Again, keep in mind that whatever you set up here, it's always going to cross check your Google Calendar. So even if you say that you're available for a certain date and time, if you have something on your calendar, it will not present those options to the client. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, Monday here, and I'm gonna choose 10 o'clock until two o'clock. And then when I click add new, you can choose to add that availability for only this day, for all Mondays, or for specific days of the week. I'm gonna choose specific days of the week, and I'm gonna choose Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then click add. And you can see here that it adds it indefinitely on my calendar here. Now, of course, if you want to click one, like the eighth here, for example, and click remove, it's gonna say, do you wanna delete all Wednesdays or this day only? I'm gonna remove only this day, so we can see it on the front end in just a moment. We'll do the same thing here for Tuesdays. I'm gonna choose eight o'clock until two o'clock for all Tuesdays. And then for this Saturday only, the 18th, I'm gonna choose nine o'clock until three o'clock for this day only. Down here under booking window, this allows you to specify what of your calendar your client can see. Do you want them to see only up to a certain number of days and weeks in the future? You wanna see them a very specific slice, so maybe one month or for a few months, for example, or do you want it just to be ongoing? In this case, I'm going to set it so that it only shows up to four weeks in the future. And then the next section here under minimum scheduling notice is almost the opposite side of that. That's where you can say, well, how much notice do I need to have in order for a client to book a session or to book this date with me? Do I wanna have no limit where they can just book something the same day? Or do I wanna build maybe let's say a four days windows notice here so that I at least have some notice for when things get put on my calendar. Under the advanced availability section here, this is where you can specify how many of these kinds of dates do I wanna allow booked per day? I'm gonna set that to allow only three per day. And then availability increments, this allows you to specify how granular your client can pick time slots on your calendar. Are they 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or is it custom? I'm gonna leave that at 30 for now. And then I'm going to have a buffer before and a buffer after of both 15 minutes, which just gives me some time to prepare for calls and then also to decompress and also leave room in case calls go over. Under the date details section here, this is where I can choose to have this date automatically approved and booked once the client picks a date and time, or I can have it so that it manually um, has to be approved by me before it gets booked. I can also turn on or off rescheduling for the client. So if they have to reschedule, can they reschedule? And the last option here is the date length. This allows me to say, how long is this actual event gonna be? And I'm gonna set that to be 30 minutes. I'm gonna choose a name here phone, meet, and greet with, and then it's gonna put the contact's name in here. There are a few more advanced configurations under communication and share, but we're gonna leave those alone for now. Let's go ahead and click save, and then we're gonna open it up on the front end to see what that looks like. I'm going to click this right here, and then click the view button, and this will now show us the scheduler on the front end.
And so here we have the scheduler here and I can thumb forward up to four weeks. I can only see up to four weeks in the future. I cannot get beyond four weeks. And that was because of that limit that we had set. You can see there's that one Wednesday that we had booked off that we had removed for that day only. And there's that Saturday that we had added for that day only as well. Otherwise, all these other dates are available on a recurring basis. And if I click on this, you can see that granularity, 10 o'clock to 1030. That's the length of the time. But the granularity here is every 30 minutes, 10 o'clock, 1030, 11 o'clock, 1130. So your client can now click this, put in their details, and then they can go ahead and book that date with you. And that is how you can set up a scheduler in Sprout to automatically allow your clients to book a date and a time with you. And again, all of this will have also factored in your Google Calendar settings. So if you had a date that even though you were technically available in the availability settings on the scheduler, if you had a date in your calendar, it wouldn't have presented that date and time to your client to book. And that way you don't double.